All right, today I wanted to shoot a quick video to touch on shoulder pain. How do we get rid of shoulder pain? If you have shoulders that are hurting, we're gonna go through a couple things uh, that I think can help. Now, number one, if you are not stretching before bed, you have joint pain of any kind and you are not stretching before bed, just stretching before bed will a lot of times fix you know 80 to 90% of the issues by just getting into the habit of stretching before bed. Now, that's the first thing, I'll put a link down below in the description on the video of the evening stretching routine that I typically use. You can start to go through that. You know, if you can't do some of the stretches, just do what you can do. You can modify them uh, if needed. But a couple other stretches that we would add to that. So if you turn sideways, okay, you can take the arm up behind the back here, taking it behind the back. That's a great way, a great one to add on top of the evening stretching routine that we have. And then also taking the arm up over the head this way, okay? So those two stretches, taking the arm up behind the back, taking it up overhead this way, adding those to the evening stretching routine. And then I want you to apply what I call touch points. When you go through the stretching, okay, super simple way uh, to increase the results you get from your stretching and it's really, really effective. So you can apply touch points when you're going through your stretching. You can also apply it during your workouts. Whenever you're working out, you can apply the touch points like I'm gonna show you, Tra uh, tremendous benefits from applying the touch points. How do you do it? Very simple, wherever you feel tightness, restriction, or pain, just literally take your finger and touch it for five to 10 seconds. If it's on your back and you can't reach it, you can use a stick, foam roll, or something that you can just touch that spot. Why does it work? Your body works like a touch screen on a phone. A lot of times we think we have to apply a lot of pressure to get results with you know touch points and things like that, but it's simply not the case. Why does it work that way? You have fascia, it's like the webbing on meat. You have to picture the webbing around meat. You have that that wraps all around your body and it's right underneath your skin. And so when we touch, just very lightly over the areas that are painful or restricted. Sometimes you feel like little knots or bees right underneath the skin. Just touching those points will send the signal into the body to open that area up. So go through the stretching routine, add the extra shoulder stretches, and apply the touch points. Also, whenever you're going through your workout, any area that feels tight, sore, restricted, something's not right, literally just find that area that feels tight, sore, painful, and just touch on it for a second. Now, a couple other extra touch points that you can do that make a big difference as well. Number one is on the ears. So your ears have acupuncture, acupressure points for everywhere on your body. So literally right here on the bottom of the earlobe, right about here, you're gonna grab this and you're gonna pull back and down. So typically we do both ears at the same time, grabbing right here, pulling back and down, just about five to 10 seconds, just medium pressure pulling back and down. That sends the signal to your shoulder to open up everything in the shoulder. And then the next one, right where your jaw comes together right here, you can do taps, right? So if you open your jaw, just open it up a couple times open, right where your jaw comes together right here. Just tap, just nice and light, about 10 taps. You always wanna do the right side first and then the left side. That will send the signal for your rotator cuff to activate and to open up as well. So just 10 taps, you can do the ears, do the jaw, and then you can apply the touch points anywhere you find pain uh, or restriction. Now on a nutrition perspective, sometimes shoulder issues can be related to nutrition as well. The fastest path for that is really in increase your intake of green veggies, so spinach, kale, asparagus, broccoli, all those types of things, or you can add in a supplemental greens powder. You can just go to Amazon and type in greens powder. You can find all kinds of greens powder uh, on there. Take a supplemental greens powder and increase your green veggie intake along with the stretching and the touch points in your workouts. Just adding those steps in there alone should make a tremendous difference for your shoulder health.